We've gathered tonight to celebrate the excellence and the beauty of Welsh creativity, talent and expression. There are no finer examples of this than in the nominations for television drama sponsored by Access Bookings. Let's take a look. <laughs> How's it above? Under Milkwood. Bosoms and Robins. Concertinas. Ebenezer's Bell. Fighting and onions. And sparrows and daisies. Tiddlers in a jam jar. Buttermilk and whippets. Rockabye baby. Washing on the line. And old girls in the snug. How's the tenors in dough? A Gwish hinterland. A strike avi. And the Bathic Camry Award goes to the Strike V. Diolch yn fawr iawn i uh, Esbererec a Gwawr Lloyd ac i Bafta Cymru am yr anrhydedd. Um, I have made one mistake tonight. When I saw the calibre of the nominees, um, I assumed I wouldn't have to make a speech, but uh, I'm very proud to be up here. Uh, my thanks go to the whole cast and crew who embraced this um, very important project for us. Um, um, I'd like to thank our creative producer, Lori Glein, um, also the fabulous Gwyneth Lewis um, for her screenplay. Um, Ashley Way um, did an amazing job. Um, Ashley. Um, and last but not least to uh, Pippa Davis, uh, who wrote and published The Gritties, uh, the novel on which... Um, uh, a strike of is based. Do you want to marry Aunty Gide? Congratulations to you both. How does it feel to have won this evening? Really exciting and really proud and a little bit shocked. Yes, yeah, because the category, the nominations were very, very strong um, in, in, in that category. And, and obviously delighted because the, the whole cast, the, the crew embraced the project. And it's such an important project. You know, it's an important time in very recent Welsh history. Uh, a lot of memories there, but also the exciting thing is it brings those memories to a totally new audience because it's seen through the eyes of um, or, or Stray Covey, seen through the eyes of an 18-year-old girl and particularly the women in the community. Did you feel a sense of responsibility to the women telling such a, an amazing historical story? Definitely, because they grew so much during this period, the women, um, because they were basically let out of their houses. Um, at the time, they were housewives mostly. Um, but I think um, post-strike, um, they went on to education, um, they went on to work, and I think it really, strangely, opened the doors um, for their futures. It was a, you know, a watershed moment, and it was also great to have Gwyneth Lewis um, um, writing the script. She was the author of the screenplay, and Pippa Davis, who wrote the original book, The Gritties, on which A Strike of E is based. Uh, and it's a very original take mm -hmm. on, uh, on that period. What was it like to, to adapt it the, um, for, for a screenplay from the original book? <laughs> it, it, was, it, it was exciting because the original book was was very, very different. You know, Gwyneth kind of loved it, um, as did we when, when we first read it, because it's so different. Um, but I think the, the, the one moment, and it was on the first day's filming, when a shiver went up my back, when I went out onto location, and it was a picket line, and I was parking my car, and suddenly 10 policemen walking down, and I thought, oh my God, we've just gone back in time. And it, and it was 
wonderful the, the way Ashley Way directed it and, and the design and costume and makeup people it was actually frightening but but also you, you knew that something really good was going to come out of this film the nominees for special and visual effects prove that there's simply nothing that can't be brought to life on screen They've made us believe in everything from time-travelling aliens to 15th century surroundings and artefacts. Let's take a look at their work in action. You, you look at these amazing pieces of drama and, uh, that, that are successful across the world and, and, and tonight's a chance to give ourselves a little pat on the back. I think it's very important um, to celebrate uh, Welsh drama, Welsh